Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So here we have a Nissan ENV 200 electric van. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you change your oil in the reduction gearbox. So I'm in the workshop here lifting this with our single post lift here, but uh, you don't need too much access underneath. Um, so you've just got to take that under tray off. Uh, so you do need to lift the vehicle a little, but not too much. So if you've got the tools and the facilities at home to lift the vehicle up um, and safely uh, pop it with axle stands, then it's a job you can do at home. Maybe you could just use a concrete curb for one side and just lift the other side. But of course the vehicle's got to be safe before you get underneath it. Uh, and in this case, because we're changing the oil, it's also got to be level. So if you don't know how to do that, then uh, really you shouldn't be doing this sort of work. So let's get this lifted up and I'll show you what you've got to do. So this particular ENV 200 is a 2014 and it's done 53,000 miles. Changing the reduction gear oil under here isn't part of a Nissan service, but the reduction gear box is a little bit of a weak point on these. Well, a weak point might be uh, describing it a bit wrong. Um, there are examples of Leafs and ENV 200s with failed reduction gearboxes at about 150,000 miles. So this is a relatively cheap and easy job to do. So I recommend changing the oil about every 30,000 miles or so, or at least every 50. It's just a very small price to pay to maximize the life of that gearbox. So with the vehicles that we sell, uh, any Nissan that's done uh, 20,000 miles we just change the gear the gearbox oil while it's here before it goes out because um, we've normally got them up on well we do have them up on the lift and all the wheels off inspecting the brakes and servicing anyway so it's a job that we just get on and do on any vehicle over 20k so first off we've got to remove this under tray and this is held on with 10 mil bolts along the front three bolts along the front one bolt at the back there in the middle and then a load of these plastic push trim clips or rivet clips and there are um, eight of those to remove and then once all those are out the tray will just fall down. So the tools you're going to need for this is obviously some oil it uses standard ATF oil automatic transmission oil uh, you need 1.4 litres you're going to need a 10 mil hex socket to get that um, fill and drain plug out. Uh, if you don't have one of these then I would suggest buying a kit like this with um, different sump plug sets. Very handy bit of kit. Uh, these don't cost much. I think it was like 15 or 20 quid or something off Amazon. But you've got all these different sizes of hex and these things are really useful and probably uh, as cheap to buy the whole set as it is to source one of those anyway. And then you're going to need a syringe to push that oil up into the gearbox. So obviously you're going to need something to catch the oil. It's only uh, one and a half litres or 1.4 litres, so it doesn't need to be very big. So this is the reduction gearbox. Obviously our electric motor's here, and then you've got the gearbox on the side. So this is the drain plug, and up there is the fill plug. So it's always best to remove the fill plug first. Uh, just because if that is difficult and you've gone and removed the drain plug and drained it of oil, if you can't remove the fill plug and get the oil back in, you're knackered. So always remove the top one first, then remove the bottom one, and the oil will then run out smoothly without glugging if the air can get in up there as well. These can be quite tight if they've never been removed before, but obviously that's quite likely. Uh, so I use a longer breaker bar just to crack them open, but just be careful, they can be quite soft, so don't chew up the uh, inner hex. So let's just get this fill plug out. Obviously there's a washer on the other side of it as well, which actually still stayed up there. But on both of them, you have a magnet on the top. And as you can see, the there's a little bit of iron filings on this one, but the majority of the rubbish is going to be on that one. All right, that's the washer 
for the uh, fill plug everyone will say you need to use new washers every time which yeah ideally you should do but in reality uh, as long as they're not chewed up they will seal just fine and uh, it is okay to use them again right and then let's remove the drain one and actually very little on that magnet very little at all so yeah this one is in good condition so looking on the bench here this was the uh, drain plug and there was a little bit of a uh, bit of filings on the end but it's actually very good I've seen these with um, much larger bits of metal uh, and the oil is pretty clear as well and the fill plug is this one it's very very clean much better than average on a Nissan reduction gearbox I've removed the oil and you can see the iron filings there sticking to that magnet there's a bit on there but that's all uh, actually pretty good for a 54,000 or 53,000 mile vehicle. So what you need to do now is to properly wipe off all the rubbish off these magnets so they're nice and clean. You can just do that with a tissue and wipe them both clean, get all those iron filings off and then put the drain plug back in first and then fill it up from the fill plug. So it's a bit difficult to film the filling because I need two hands to use this syringe and I'm holding a camera here. But I really don't need to show you this really. But anyway, what you do is suck up the oil into your syringe. You're going to need to do this many times. And then, oh, it's leaking a bit of oil there. And then put that in the fill plug and push the oil back in there, obviously with your drain plug in and then fill that to the point the oil starts dribbling out of the fill plug and then whack the, the uh, cap back in there. So obviously next you've got to put your under tray back on and put the vehicle back on the ground. So a very simple job. Uh, if you found this video useful, as always, please do click that thumbs up button on YouTube because that really does help other people find the channel. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't done it already. Uh, release a new EV video at least a weekly. Uh, and literally hundreds and hundreds of videos on the channel already so do have a look at those and uh, more coming soon